this fertilizer. It basically tells you that somebody powerful was, was pulling the strings behind the scenes. That is the point. Somebody even more powerful was pulling the strings behind the scenes. So the cabinet secretary cannot, cannot absolve himself from accountability on this matter. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, even more intriguing, as we are told that investigations are being conducted by the relevant investigative agencies, and we are also being told here by my friend, uh, the chairman of JLAC and Owen Bayer, that uh, the committee on agriculture is also seized of the matter, that you wait for the, for the, for the outcome of their investigations or inquiries. And yet, NCPB goes ahead to, to decree that it is embarking on a scheme to compensate farmers who purchase the fake fertilizer. Then you ask yourself, where are they getting the money from? This house, to my, the best of my recollection, did not authorize any such expenditure. Did not. Where did NCPP get the authority and the money to compensate farmers? Yet, even before the investigations are complete, do we even know how much was this fake fertilizer, as you speak? Do we know? We don't know. We don't know. Honorable, honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, from what I know, and you know, my Honorable Speaker, I have a lot of information. From what I know is that what we are being told is just but the tip of the iceberg. When the full extent of this fertilizer scandal is exposed, you will be shocked. It will be worse than Goldenberg scandal. What we are being told is just but the tip of the iceberg. And you know, Honorable Speaker, in my capacity as leader of uh, the meal, this side, I am privy to a lot of information. In fact, information just comes to me. I don't go looking for information. And I've got a file for each of these ministers and the PSS. Let me tell you, even if this House attempts to uh, allow military to go scot-free, in the fullness of time, in the fullness of time, each and every person who is involved in this racket will have a date with, a date with this destiny. Your time is up. I told you you had 15 minutes. 30 seconds. Uh, let me just say that uh, I support this motion and I want to appeal to all my colleagues. Let's just send a message home, regardless of our political affiliation, today, by sending these CAs home. That, that will actually earn us a lot of respect as an institution of parliament. Let for once allow this process to get to the select committee to undertake proper investigation and inquiry at the hearings, Honorable Speaker. With those very many remarks, I support. Mary Wamaua. I see you on the screen. You seem to be unprepared. Maluri Njendi. You've keyed in and you... Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I arise actually to oppose this motion. Mr. Mr. Speaker, as I oppose this motion, I also want to make it clear to the mover that persons who are opposing this motion are not of unsound mind, as he alleged in his uh, moving remarks. He said persons who are opposing this motion have unsound mind. You said that. It's on Hansard. So I want to confirm that I'm of a sound mind as I oppose this motion. Madam, Mr. Speaker, as I oppose this motion, it is simply because many times we have wanted to sacrifice people who are not really victims of what we want to sacrifice them for. I recall, Mr. Speaker, in Kakamega County, they also saw this fake uh, fertilizer by the county government. Mr. Speaker, upon investigation, 
it was found that these fertilizer, as much as everyone was crying for the head of the governor, it was 